Tritonus Raven here, unboxing Shibibimman Zero for the Super Famicom. This is a newly released cartridge from Columbus Circle, marking the 20th anniversary of the original game for the Saddle of You. I planned to do a test run with this, but when I plugged it into my Retro Freak, I was greeted by this screen. So obviously this game is not being supported. You can still play the game on the original Super Famicom, Otherwise you could extract the ROM with a USB adapter, such as the Retrode, and put it back into the Retrofreak, or any other emulator for that matter. This game was originally a download only title, but now you can own a physical version of this particular game. Quantities are limited and this release isn't officially licensed by Nintendo. Instead, the cartridge is made by Columbus Circle, which is a Japanese game company specializing in developing and marketing video games and computer software. The cartridge has the same rough plastic texture as the older Super Famicom cartridges. Also, the rounded sides are more striped and there are no screws at the bottom. On the back it has the Columbus Circle logo, instead of the typical Nintendo logo. All this proves that this is not just a shell being reused, but a brand new manufactured cartridge. Now if you try to boot this up on the Retro Freak, the console won't recognize the game because it's not included in the database. The problem seems to be that the data on the flash ROM is unstable, and you need to manually fix it with a soldering iron. But to do that, you first need to safely open the cartridge the same way as old Famicom games using bar clamps, since there are no screws holding the cartridge together. The problem is similar to another brand new Super Famicom game, namely Unholy Night by BlazePro. One user on Twitter reported that he or she successfully extracted the ROM from Shabibi Man Zero using the same method as for Unholy Night. Then again, you could avoid all of this trouble by just playing this on a Super Famicom or an emulator. Since I don't have the necessary tools to extract the ROM, I guess I'll just have to wait for an update for the Retro Freak, if there'll ever be one. Anyways, if you liked the video or have any questions, please let me know in the comments. Subscribe and become a Raven today!